Hello and welcome to this session on Postman beginner tutorial and today we are going to see how can we run a collection which is a group of API request in Postman and we are going to use collection runner for that and we will go very basic step by step and see how can we run a collection and how can we see the results. So let's go to our Postman and this is the collection one that we have already created in our earlier session and it has a very simple get user request and this is the request if we do send it gives us a response so first thing let me add some more request in this collection so that we have more than one request so I'm going to search for any sample rest API and let us go to this request response API from where we have taken the earlier request and here and we have already used this single user request so let us also add this list user request so this is the URL I will copy it from here go to a new tab and paste it here and then I will copy the endpoint from here and again paste in the new tab and hit enter and yes we are getting a response so now I will just go to my postman and click on new request and I will give this is get user list and I want to put into collection 1 and save to collection and here I will just give the URL that I used so this is the URL and endpoint of the request I will give this here and test I will hit the send button and yes we are getting the response now other thing that I will do is to make a more logical grouping and arrangement of the request I will go to these three dots in the collection and say add folder and I will say the folder name as get so that all the get requests are stored inside this folder and I will say create and now I will move both of these requests in the get folder so you can now see we have this get user and get user list inside the get folder the other thing that you should do before running is make sure that you save the request so I will save both of these requests and I will hit the save button here and now we can run the collection so for that what you have to do is go to your collection and click on this arrow and you will find an option to run so click here I will click here and it will open a collection runner window and here you will get your collection you can also search for other collections and add them but for now I just want to run collection 1 which has these two get requests and here you have multiple options we have the option to select an environment as of now we do not have the environment so let it be as it is you have the option to select the number of iterations so if I say 2 the request will be run 2 times and if you want to have a delay in between of the requests you can put it here in milliseconds and then if you want to log response only for failed or no request or all requests you can click here and we do not have any data file as of now and now you can click on this run button so it will run the request and you can see it has given us the result and you can see because we have selected two iterations so it has run the collection two times and here we have the summary so for every request we get the status codes the time taken in milliseconds and the byte size and then here we have the filters so if you just want to see the pass or fail here and then here we have a button to go to run summary export results and retry so let us now first go to the run summary and here we get the summary of the runs where we just get a high level summary pass fail and you can filter it from here and then you can export the results as a JSON file so I will not export it now and if you go to run results you also get a option to retry if you hit retry it will again run with the same configuration also if you go back to the collection runner you can see it shows us all the recent runs so we have run it two times so you can see and the latest runs will be stacked at the top and if you click here you can go back to the run summary and the results 
So this is how you can quickly run a collection and analyze the results. I hope this session was useful for you. If you like the session, please hit the like button and share it with others. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will meet you in the next episode of Postman. Thank you for watching.